Boom. Headshot. Hello YouTube, it is me, Minecraft Power, and today I am doing a mod spotlight. Today in Minecraft, it, I am doing Frauruska Madara, ever you pronounce it. And what this mod is, is, well, what the name entails, a gun mod. And this basically adds a whole wide range, from machine guns, AK-47s, to RPGs and death machines. Along with flamethrowers, which would probably be my favorite, and all that stuff. So, anyways, I just realized I'm in survival mode, let's just change that. And hopefully a skeleton doesn't kill me. So let's get into this fast so I can actually grab the gun to shoot, to defend myself. So anyways, in this mod, um, I'm just running away from, oh, you screw it, I'm just going to just go back in trade mode. So anyways, what this mod does, obviously, adds guns to your games. Currently there are new, there, currently there are no, um, crafting recipes yet. But there are crafting materials, and right now they're just fighting themselves. Mm -hmm. So anyways, let's get on to the machine guns. See, I'm doing flat world. This is the nether quartz stuff and glowstone. So here are all the machine guns. There are a lot of them. There is the M4A1. The red dot is actually a scope. So like, you press R to scope in, and you can just shoot them. Right. Um, mouse click two to fire. When you do, but when you do open like trap chests and or trap doors, doors and chests and gates and stuff, it does activate that. Sorry that it's still laggy. Fraps is a good recording system, but it does lag the game a lot. So, anyways, there's M4A1, AK47, SCART, SCAR-8, H. M16, FN, dash, FAL, AUG, ACR, Flams, MP5K, AK47-U, a vector, which is my personal favorite, Mini UC, UMP-45, P90, RPD, M. Two four nine M sixty M twenty seven Hammer A or H A M R M G thirty six. So that's all the machine guns. There's no ammo since you don't really need it in creative mode. Time's coming up, let's just say back to night. Um so let's get into this. So you it's hard to aim when you're firing like this. Um Sorry if it's a bit loud, but as you can see in the gun HUD, it shows the name of it, it shows the ammo it could hold, it could show the ammo left, and I'll just quickly go into survival mode to show you. So as you can see in ammo left it says 31, but after I fire a bit it goes down every time I fire. Let's just try to take out that creeper. So yeah, so now it says 19, and then it shows you the damage for shot too. And as you can see it has a durability on it. But it doesn't get destroyed after it. It just runs out of ammo, and you just have to reload, which you do by pressing the F key. So, anyways, let's. This um, the guns break glass and glowstone, but not um, glowstone lamps. So, anyways, let's try aim. Sorry, just shoot him. Get out of get out of here, Slam. Get out of here. Alright, so now if you just aim, see, I put a row of glowstone there. So, anyways, I'm just going to keep this with me. In fact, let's, here are all the guns, so like just to list and all the ammo and armor and stuff. I'm going over all of it, but currently there's no crafting recipes, but there are crafting materials. So, I assume later on in the mod, they're almost done with the mod actually. It's still in progress, but it seems like they're, they're going to add stuff in. Seems like it's almost done, they said on the forms. So anyways, here's all the guns. I'll go over all that. There's no crafting recipes. You can't craft any of this. So anyways, let's just get myself some of some of this ammo. They're stack the ammo is stackable by 16. Oh, wait a second. I never put this on. Weird. 
Um, all right. So yeah, those are the machine guns. Pretty decent. Um, that randomly appeared for some reason. So yeah. Next up, pistols. Here there are a few pistols. Um, I prefer there. You cannot aim with these, but they're quite useful for secondary weapons. In case you're surrounded and your machine guns out of ammo. They're by the way, they instantly reload. So let's get this fire out of it. And then also on Game HUD, as you can see under damage, when it's out of ammo, it says reload. And what you do to reload is press the uh, F key, and then you reload. And it, it instantly reloads. So anyways, here's the Desert Eagle. The pistols had bad accuracy, so they're better up close. Um, can I just try the M16? This, da this gun has 6 damage. Um, this has a way smaller knockback, unlike the Desert Eagle. This one, it's a bit of rapid fire. So that's good if you're being surrounded by mo uh, mobs. And the damage so for shots, so it could probably kill someone. Sorry. Yeah, you can't. You press R to A. Um, alright. Um, the P9 90 99. Um, it's a bit hard. This one is a machine gun for sure. All right, so I can even hit one, any of those. So, anyways, for pistols, there's an M9, a M9, three Redifica, a Desert Eagle, a Magnum, a P99, and a G18. All right. So up next, shotgun. Wait, what? Oh. Apparently, I missed the shot with the pistol and hit the one where it wasn't supposed to hit. So, anyways, there are four shotguns. There's Spaz 12, KSG-12, the Striker, and the Model 1887. So, let's just grab those. Um, I have glow. So, let's just try to shoot. Go pretty hard. As you can see, nice sound. I can't get it, but I read it all right here, so as you can see, you can shoot multiple bullets. This, the best is the model, actually. Well, this is actually quite good because it could hold 16. This one's good, but it can only hold 4. But this holds 6 and does the most damage. So, anyways, as you can see, I shot, I took out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Shoot again. 1, 2, 3, 4, I Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to shoot that. Anyways. So yeah. So yeah. There's the shotguns. Alright, up next sniper rifles, which are my favorite. And they do a buttload of damage. So we have the the Barrett 50 caliber Barrett HP. The well actually that's just a scope. The, so the Barrett 50 caliber, the M40 the L96, the RAS, <laughs> the Interventional, and the Dragovan. Which, so let's just grab all of them. They do like around 20 damage, so you could like easily some. So they do a lot of damage. So let's see, this one does 25 damage. This one does 16 damage, 18 damage, 14 damage, 25 damage, and 10 damage. This is the weakest of all, but it, has, but it could hold a lot of ammo. So anyways, um, let's try this out. It, you always hit the target on this, and as you can see, you have a big zoom up. So as you see, we got that. Got him. Got him. Got him. Let's See, 16, so it won't. Uh, also, I have the damage indicators mod installed, by the way. Oh, night vision. Yeah, night vision's quite cool. Um, you guys, and you do. Alright, you can't. 62. There we are. Shotguns, no. So yeah, those are sniper rifles. 
Um, time set 1400. All right. Up next are the knives. There are a um, few more guns than me. The mega weapons, which I'll show you in a bit. So here are the knives. Um, I actually should have brought something with me. But anyways, um, there's no game HUD for them yet. But this one does like 15 damage, like 10 to 15 damage per hit. Oh, hello. See, um, I have damage in Karen's mod, so with just uh, three damage. That just did. I actually can tell. Um, let's see, 11 minus. Oh, um, yeah. So let's see. Um, I'm not going to do this, but this does uh, could probably kill him right now. Oh, got him down to health. That did five damage, and yeah, these don't have durabilities. I guess. Um, I guess he might add that in the future, but I'm not sure. Up next is the armor, night vision goggles. Just lets you see at night, like this. But the funny thing is, it like blurs out all the other light sources, like this. And then when I take it off, it's all bright. Whoops. So, anyways, but it's quite cool for seeing the night. Um, in case you're in dark areas, it does work while you're scoped in too. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. And then here is the Juggernaut armor. That gives you a lot of protection. Looks pretty cool. Of course, I think kind of this stuff looks a bit too thick or squeezed in. So then, also forced camo, US Marine, and stuff. So here's what the special ops looks like. Pretty cool. I get, I bet it will be better if you have the default skin. There's an iron right, going for a demonstration in a bit. Um, ops, US Marine. Looks a bit messy, in my opinion, and force, which looks like something from vaults, but I guess you could sneak around in the forest with a sniper rifle and shoot some people, shoot some spiders and stuff. So yeah, quite useful. I think this, um, right now I don't think it works for multiplayer, it said on the forums, but it will, s I think they are going to make it, because I think that's the entire point of the mod. Grenades! So, these are pretty cool. Um, don't know why I put... But, here. Um, heavy grenade. Um, throw that. Waits a few seconds and explodes. Sticky grenade, which is pretty cool. Um, just do a normal grenade. I guess, yeah, the explosion rate is smaller. A cool thing about this is that... Let's just go into, um, creative mode and go show you. Um... Well, I'll show that over there. That's I have the fossils and archaeology mine installed, so that's uh these spawn all over the place. But here's smoke bombs, which are quite cool. Have quite cool effect. They do no damage, but they do do that. So you can just throw a bunch into a hallway, blind players and stuff. It's really hard to see inside of them. That's pretty cool. These I'm not sure these do they. No, they don't. But they do. Do it. Um, well, it didn't have that big explosion radius, but it did do eight damage to the creeper. But they do stick to walls, which is quite cool. Um, let's just spawn in another. I don't think these stick to walls. Nope, they bounce off walls and fall, but these stick. So yeah, then shoot grenades. Best to use in pairs. Just use a bunch of them. It doesn't work if you're far away though, but as you can see, it just makes a giant wall of smoke. So yeah, let's just head back to the mod showcase area. There's random pieces of glowstone missing. Um, apparently, I light it up. So grenades, armor. So misc items. There's a med pack, band aid, painkiller, and American coin. These coins, I don't think, have any use yet. But I'm pro they're probably going to be used for trading in um, the future. But here, I'm just going to create a mode. I meant to do this earlier, but I just got too lazy and didn't do it. Um, break that. There we are. So I'll just uh, hit me a few times. Going to.
Alright, that's good. Let's get away. So I have three hearts, or three and a half now. Med pack. It has multiple uses, but it did do a lot. I'll shoot him. Um, let's see how much spin. Oh, Jesus! Come on. Oh, okay. So it's just me and another one of those, so I can show you. Actually, you get a bit of run flesh too. So I can eat that, and it'll make my hunger go down. So, I, so anyway, let's get, uh. And also, let's get a spider. I think also that the pain. I think painkillers actually remove all poisons. Either that or it's just a nerve. So, let's just. You can see. Um, no, not today, Cooper. Hey! Stop moving! Kills mobs in four hits, so. Let's just run around for a bit. La 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 la. Sorry, this part's a bit boring. But as you can see, oh no! So what the painkillers does is give you nausea. Apparently, that's a big pain in the butt. Hard to aim now. So, anyways, more running flesh. Jump around a bit. Tease these guys a bit. Try to reload here. Let's see. <clears throat> Sorry, it's taking a while. It's all for the mod. It's all for the bot. Shoot that spider. Please take you come on my wall. You got picked up the gunpowder that another guy dropped. These guys are probably going to try to kill them. Alright, so while that happens, uh, let's go on to the mega weapons. <coughs> Sorry about my throat. So, there's the death machine, the RPG, which you need ammo to fire, the swarm, which you also need ammo, grenade launcher, flamethrower, and ray gun. <coughs> so currently for the RPG and stuff, and flamethrower, and uh, swarm, it doesn't do anything, but as you can see, for the death machine and the grenade launcher, they have 3D miles. Anyways. Here, fight me. Okay. Alright, so let's see. I have one and a half heart when I use that once. Whoa. That got me. That gave me half. One, two, three. That gave me four hearts. Alright, so now, so now, drop the band-aid. So that band-aid does two hearts. So, so yeah, let's see what's that. Alright, now, it just can be Alright, time to get into the fun, the fun stuff. So over there, I have a little screen. Let's use, oh, jeez, no, no. Crap. Crap. Alright, um, I'll just do that. So, alright. So here's the death machine. It does 15 damage per hit, and it has, fires really fast, and it has 350 ammo. So anyways, let's fire. It's big, not that hard to throw, but look at that. Look how easy I'm obliterating it. Back. Let's find some guys. You can't reload, but look at this. Look at this. Complete obliteration. Oh, also, these guns do not work on Endermen. The Endermen just teleport away like bow and arrow. Just grab that. Um, alright, next is the RPG. Let's aim for... Oh! Jesus! Hmm. Alright, RPG. I'm not actually sure what the difference between these two are. Let's fire this. As you can see, let's fire this over that group. 
I missed. Anyways, next so grenade launcher. Kind of like the demo man. Beat the demo man. Just wasted all my ammo there. But as you can see, pretty a good amount of damage. Flamethrower. Uh let's go on to so flamethrower is really good. It is especially great for killing slimes. So over here you see all these slimes. Let's say you just shoot one. They work they double them. But flamethrower is what you can do. You can like don't use it too much though, otherwise you could end up crashing the game. But if you shoot the ground and stuff, then when they double, see look. So as you can see I'm just obliterating them when they fall in they catch on fire then when they double it's basically the ultimate killing machine and we're on here is the uh, crafting items by the way um we find iron heavy body body light body heavy bolt bolt long barrel barrel short barrel large handle handle small handle large stock stock red dot site holographic site um ACOG site scope HP scope. and here you cannot I have no idea how to get refined iron I assume they'll make that soon but you can't cook it in our furnace so anyways come here there we are um so here we wait I have an idea alright so this is the last gun the ray gun but yeah, the flame for is pretty fun to play around with. <laughs> so here's the last gun, the ray gun. This is really, this is the most powerful weapon in this entire mod. So it it has 20 ammo, and it does 35 damage per shot. So look, I have a sword here, sharpness V, and look, here's a golem. Let's just heal him. Just heal him. Alright. So here, I'll, let's see how many hits it takes to kill him with a sharpness 5 sword. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 hits. Alright, let's rebuild him and see how many hits it takes with the ray gun to kill him. Alright. Oh! And hopefully he doesn't spark. Dude, get out! Get out! Alright. Dumbass. Dumbass. So let's just heal him. Alright. So now he's fully healed. So here's how much damage it does with the ray gun. One, two, three. Three shots from the ray gun, and it in and then it kills an iron golem. Where a sharpness five diamond sword kills him. Oh, by the way, you do have zoom. It's automatically built in, and it's pretty cool noise. Pew, pew. Does smash you? you. So yeah, both the same weapon. Pro you should probably build this. Oh, right now, ammo. So yeah, that is the mod. You should probably use the ray gun when you're going to kill the Ender Dragon. So yeah, um, that's the mod. Thank you for watching. Next up, I will do the fossils and archaeology mod, which I already have set it up. It's been why I haven't been posting any videos lately. I've been busy. I've been busy building that, and I'm going to use the gun mod in it, so I figured I'd do this mod first. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, hit that like and subscribe if you want. Leave any positive or negative comments. Leave any... Do... Leave any helpful comments if you want. Thank, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!